are ready for flag raising, sir. Oh, I'll tell you the truth, baby. I didn't hear the uh, the alarm. Mm. You go ahead without me. Uh, but yesterday, sir, you told me you wanted to start making uh, assembly. <laughs> uh, that's right, so I did. Well, all uh, right, you get me my hat and my quirt. You're quirting your hat right away, sir. All uh, right. The commander's actually coming to assembly this morning. Hey, cool it. Here he comes now. Good morning, Doctor. Commander. Good morning, right. sir. Good morning. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, sorry. sir. <laughs> George, between you and me, those little persons there don't like me. Oh, that isn't true, no, sir. No, no, I've noticed it every time they look at me. They're on camp commander, and they hate me. Hate? They don't really hate you, sir. That they, uh, they just never see you around, sir. That's why they're staring like that. <laughs> they think you're a visitor, sir. <laughs> All right, George, that's a body blow. But you call your shot straight and true, and I appreciate that. Well, I try to do that, sir. Stranger, eh? You know, one of these days, I want to give up a golf game and get to know those little persons. Oh, very good, sir. How about today? Why don't you go out there right now and have a little talk-talk with them, huh? That's a good idea, George. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys, settle down. Commander Wivenhoe is going to have a little talk with you. Commander? Can't you sense that they hate Mike? No, they don't hate you. <laughs> uh, good morning, fellas. <laughs> and now then, chaps, I've decided that uh, we're going to have a smile and good fellowship in our camp every day. So every morning, I'm going to come out and give you a good, cheery good morning. And then I want you to give me a big, rousing good morning right back. Okay? <laughs> yes, well, all right now, boys, here we go. Good morning. Oh, hit it. Come on. They hate my guts. <laughs> they don't hate you, sir. It's, uh, they like you in their own way, sir. I'm going to finish my bath. No, wait, wait, wait a minute. Hold it, boys! Now, uh, tomorrow, the National Commissioner of Camps is coming all the way from Washington to inspect us. I want those tents spick and span. No dirty uniforms, no sloppy moccasins, huh? And no ice cream wrappers in the quad. And smile at him. That's an order. That's all. Okay, fellas, breakfast! Hey, <laughs> Morning, man. Morning, sir. Morning. Morning. Get you anything uh, special, sir? Uh, no, thank you, Walt, and I'll just have what the troops are having. Oh, oh boy, rest in peace, sir. The toast is the only good thing. Genocide, I'll tell you that. <laughs> How's your can opener, Malden? <laughs> Malden, I gotta hand it to you. You're the only cook I ever knew that could fry eggs like this. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind them, Malden. Uh, the troops like their little lap at chow time, you know. Well, what are you gonna do? I work my fingers for the bones. <laughs> Boys, let's not pick up four more. Pass the oatmeal, please. Way up here in the woods, we have a logistics problem. And I'm sure Malden's doing everything humanly possible to see to it that we get the most nourishing food that'll stick to our... <laughs> <laughs> Sir, if I could make a suggestion, why don't we, uh... Well, why don't we hire a real cook? I mean, for the boys. Women make the best cooks. That's very true. It job. makes sense, yes, sir. sir. I mean, we don't have to get a really attractive woman cook. <laughs> oh, no. no. no Four yeah. months up here without seeing a woman, it's just not good for, for the little person, <laughs> sir. <laughs> no, we could get ourselves a nice, friendly woman cook, remind the boys of uh, their mother. <laughs> mother, that's, sir, that's exactly what they the idea.
kiss me, mother. Spell you. Now, boys, fun's fun. But let's not get carried away. We are not going to have a woman cook in a boys' camp. One of the reasons I chose this spot is there isn't another female for ten miles around here. Excuse me. I think I'm lost. You, you can't come in here. This is a boys' camp. Hi, honey. What in the world are you doing here? I'm terribly sorry. The bus let me off at the junction back there. I guess I'm lost. I'm looking for Miss Devine's camp for girls. Well, there aren't any girls' camps around here. There must be. Daddy put me on the bus and told the driver, and it says right here in the folder. Camp Divine for girls on beautiful Lake Wanatonka. They've hoodwinked this poor child's parents into believing there's a girls' camp up here. Let me see that. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh, gentlemen, how this is Miss Grunecker, uh, Caprice, uh, Wyona. Hi. Hi. How oh, are you? <laughs> what a marvelous layout you have oh, here. Oh, Isn't it charming, girls? Great. Well, thank you, madam. Tell me, Commander, what is your overhead running in ratio to your gross income? Mahalia May, don't pry the first time we meet. Mahalia May is our purchasing expert. She watches the pennies for me. Well, in that case, I'll be glad to explain it. You see, uh, our mess hall over here is operated and sustained on a per capita basis. Is your name uh, Caprice? Yes, we own it. Why are you all staring? Were we staring? I say you certainly are. You're practically undressing me with your eyes. It's all right for me. I'm a doctor. Oh, golly. Forgive me, doctor. Well, that's all right. You can get dressed now, my dear. You're going to be right across the lake. Oh. Goodness, girls, look! It doesn't work. Yes, this is my tub. I brought it in personally. It's the only bathtub like it for miles around. <laughs> One of the few luxuries I allow myself. All we have are showers. And we hate taking showers. It ruins the hair. <laughs> oh, golly, at home, I just stretch out in my bathtub and let the hot water soothe and relax my whole body from my chinny chin chin all the way down to my little toesy. N naked? Well, certainly. Oh, <laughs> boy, he needs a doctor. Oh, I'm a doctor. What can I do for you, dear? No, him. <laughs> oh, him. Now, Pruitt, get a hold of yourself. Is he all right? Oh, yes, madam. You'll be oh, perfect. Oh, boy. Here. Well, we're having a whale of a good time talking to you gentlemen, but we'd better get back to our own camp. I'd sure like to steal that bathtub of yours when you're not looking. If you ever wake up some morning and find it missing, you'll know where to look for it. You little devil, don't you even entertain such an idea. Bye, ladies. set our hair all over again. Yes. And those men have that perfectly lovely bathtub and men don't even mind taking showers. But just isn't double standard. I mean, we're delicate female creatures. We deserve that tub. I have a swell idea. Yes, dear? What is your swell idea? Why don't we trade them some of our luscious food? Marvelous. Girls, get dressed, go to the dining hall, and get Helga to lay out the darndest spread of food ever seen, everything she's got. <laughs> Come on, get it! Oh, it's stuck! Well, pull on it! Well, pull on it! Hello, fellas! Hello, see? Hello! Oh! Oh! Hey, oh! Hi, Capri. Hello, Capri. <laughs> I don't think we should be in this camp. It's a girls' camp. That's okay. You're with me. It's all right. Boy, if Commander Wiven, who ever finds out we're here. Well, we were just going to have a snack, and I thought you'd like to join us. Oh, boy, well, I don't know. It's for me. 
I think we could. <laughs> All right. Well, you just go right in the dining room, and I'll be in in a minute. I'm going to put something on. Some clothes. Goodbye. Oh. <laughs> See you later. Goodbye. Toodaloo. Bye-bye, Z. I'm not here. Oh, I'm nice of you to we drop in. We were just having a little afternoon snack. Would you care to join us? <laughs> Why are you ladies so good to us? Yeah, isn't there something we can do for you? Well, there is one teensy weensy thing you can do for us. Actually, we, uh, <clears throat> we need a bathtub. Oh, well, you're out of luck there. There's none around here. Yes, there's not a bathtub within 20 miles of here, except the one at our... Oh, well, you don't mean... Yes, you do mean... <laughs> oh, he'd really be mad. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, we wouldn't dare do a thing like m stealing his uh, bath. <laughs> Golf game. Oh, George, George, I carded an 86. I astounded everyone in the club. Wonderful. Look, look, after 20 years, I finally found the secret. Now, look, your hips pull you through. Hips. Yeah. <laughs> you just ring the bell. Huh? <laughs> 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 what a great day for your old boss. Yes, well, we mustn't forget, sir, that we have that activities roster to work out today. Ah, oh, yes, yes. Well, I'll be with you in ten minutes. I want to have a nice hot bath. Fine, fine, sir. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Some food, huh, Doc? Great. Oh, my gosh, they're spiffy. Let's... <laughs> What's wrong with you guys? Nothing! <laughs> Makes you think something's wrong. Yeah. Well, I don't know. You're acting awful peculiar. <laughs> I smell turkey? <laughs> That's silly. Where would Malden get a canned turkey? <laughs> Donuts! <laughs> Uh, surprise! It's a present from home. Uh, my mother sent me a care package. <laughs> Help yourself, they're good. No, no, not right now. I've got to get a shave. Commander and I are working on the reports. You know he shot an 86 today? Good morning. Little persons. Shot an 86! 86! <laughs> You guys smell, uh, garlic? Garlic? I don't know. No, we don't, we don't, we don't garlic. smell any garlic. Gone. Your Those up. dang women have stolen my tub. Well, I don't just. So how they got it out of this camp without anybody seeing them, <laughs> I'll never know. <laughs> Come on, man, don't just stand there. Let's go get the tub. <laughs> I know you're around here somewhere. Come on, face me like a man. Where's my bathtub? Sir, don't you think that we really ought Looking for someone, Commander? You know what I'm looking for, madam. Where's my bathtub? 
bathtub. Girls? Girls, do you know anything about a bathtub? What's a bathtub? Hey, remember what about it? Don't double talk me! I know you stole it. I want it back at once. At once, do you hear me? Stop bellowing. It's rest period. The girls are having their naps. Where's my bathtub? He thinks we stole his silly old bathtub. Oh, oh, sir. <laughs> what would we want with your bathtub? I'm going to search every tent in this compound. Smithy! Don't you touch my bathtub! <laughs> chosen you men for this mission because you're the best men I have. You know those females have stolen my bathtub. Well, we're going into that camp tonight while it's asleep, in commando style, and we're going to bring back that tub. But, sir, now, I... we'll approach it from this side. Pruitt, you and Spiffy come in here. Doc, I want you to... What is that? Oh, that's jelly. I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> jelly donut? No, thank you. Go ahead, it's all right. I've got 1,200 of them in my locker. 1,200 jelly donuts? It's a, a present from his mother, sir. My mother. Oh, come on. Uh, Steffi, you and Pruitt take these tents here and doc, sir, pay attention. I want really, you to now, I think that's a foolhardy venture. I mean, running around the woods like that at night? Then we're going to get lost, sir. And will you have a little faith in me, please? I wasn't a navigator during the recent hostilities for nothing, you know. But, sir, you... you I'll think... guide us through the woods with a few quick star shots. Hmm? All right, now, let's get a time hack, men. We'll shove off at, oh, 200 hours. Five, four, three, two. And with that jelly, we stop. <laughs> Be quiet. Wonderful the way you dedicated men of medicine go out on calls at all hours of the night. Yes, we're grand people. Good night. Good night. <laughs> what? Sir, you planned this all wrong. They wouldn't keep a bathtub in their tents. It's just right. But I will be out here somewhere. Now, if we find their water supply, we'll find the tubs. Oh, well, that's good thinking. Yes, men fan out. Let's look for their water supply. Now keep low to the ground. Keep your head down. Let's lift it up. Right, sir. All right, one, two, three, but... <laughs> oh, it's, it's heavy, sir. It's full of water. Well, dump it out. Right, here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> We 
We made it. We made it. Hey, come on, Spiff, let's stop. I gotta get my breath. Okay, okay, we'll get our breath. I don't know why it's so difficult to run with this thing. No matter what we do, we can't get any forward speed. I think I know why. Why? I've been running in the other direction. <laughs> you goofball. Charge something loose in my head. Listen. <laughs> yeah, let's place this tub up and start the truck back to camp. Okay. One, two, uh, uh. Now camp is right dead that way. Follow me, then forward. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> was he expecting you, sir? Why, of course he was. I'm the National Commissioner of Camps from Washington. Oh, well, it's an odd thing, General Fletcher. I mean, when we got up this morning, there was no sign of Commander Wivenhoe. Nobody's here, just us. I drove 85 miles up here. Oh, My sorry. time is valuable, son. Well, I'll drive over to the girls' camp and check them. Tell Wivenhoe I'll be back, and he'd better have a good explanation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Keep saying just another hundred yards, but it's never there. We're hopelessly lost in the forest. Nonsense. We may have taken the long way around the lake, but we're not lost. This instrument doesn't lie. I got a beautiful fix off Orion just before daybreak. Then what are we doing out here? That intense! Look at it, fellas! We made it when I tell you we're home! Oh, oh. come on! Look up! Oh. 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 Come on, let a hand, boy. Come on, Alice. We're in the wrong camp. Come on, then back to the woods. Captain Fletcher, sir. Wivenhoe, look at you. You're a mess. What the devil's going on around here, Wivenhoe? What are you doing over here? Well, uh, sir, I, well, that lady there. I, I, I brought this tub up for myself, sir. And then this girl's camp shows up. Ladies? Have any of these men been molesting you? Oh, golly sakes, no. They've been so gentlemanly and sweet. I was just complimenting him last night about that very thing when he crawled through our tent. He crawled through your tent? It's all right for me. I'm a doctor. <laughs> Women if there's been any hanky-panky going on, I'll yank your camp license away from you so fast. General, you... let me explain this situation. Commander Wivenhoe had this lovely bathtub, and we only have showers, and you know how women adore to soak in a hot tub. <laughs> These dear boys here offered to give up their bathtub to us girls. Th that's right, General. And we spent the whole night struggling through the forest with that bathtub just so we could surprise the ladies. <laughs> Didn't we? Yes, yeah, so that's the uh, least we could do to say welcome. <laughs> welcome to our forest, ladies. Well, <laughs> gentlemen. I'm taking my hat off to you. What I've just witnessed is the finest example of good neighborliness between camps that I've ever seen. I'm proud of each of you. Everybody, let's have some coffee and fresh jelly donuts. Jelly donuts? <laughs> yes, we baked a fresh batch this morning. We gave away 1,200 of our donuts yesterday just as a gift. Indeed. <laughs> Hundred jelly donuts. Twelve hundred jelly donuts. <laughs> 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 